Real life is bigger than fantasy. This, this is, is real, is real life. life. Self-destruction can be a big problem for teens. You can become scared when your friends look like they're acting self-destructive. I got really scared because I didn't know how to help her because I didn't know how to approach her about it. Maybe they're looking for attention. Many teens feel that they are alone in this world. Everything is just felt numb, like disconnected. You know, everyone kind of goes through times when like they aren't feeling themselves or they just want to be alone. In this episode of Real Life Teens, we'll discuss teens and self-destruction. She said that she was cutting herself, and I was like, why are you doing that? You don't need to. Many times, self-destructive behavior can be a cry for help. I guess you could call it like a cry for attention or something. Or maybe they're looking for attention because they don't get it. When a friend becomes self-destructive, others may ask why. She's all like, it's because I can control it or something because she didn't like her home life. I know somebody that would, that would cut herself and and I was pretty close with that person. Bottling up feelings and feeling that no one understands, even family, may lead to the kind of frustration that may cause destruction. It seemed like no one like, was ever like, experienced what I was going through. And I think it's because of also family matters, that's why it came about. Like for a while, it started off him kind of being like seclusive. Control issues or lack of control issues may play a factor. We weren't really granted the chance to make our own path. We had to take the one that was set for us. And I don't think that by cutting yourself, you know, maybe for that day or that week is going to make you feel better. In causing harm to yourself, you might be aware that those who love you are put through a great deal of pain. That said, you know what? I can't do this. I can't hurt anyone anymore. And from this day, I still look back and think, I can't believe I put people through that much pain. I, I, I don't want to ever let anyone go through that much pain anymore. Many teens feel because their parents are much older than them that they might not understand or relate to their problems. Um, they are a different generation. They do think very differently from me. Finding help is the most important step if you find yourself feeling self-destructive. Turning to the right adult is also an important choice. Unfortunately, many teens encounter the topic of self-destruction either directly or indirectly. Out of the people I know, I don't think anyone's really done anything like serious, like like attempted suicide or like like um, severe drug use or anything. Find someone to motivate. He always put me up. He's like, "Don't quit. Um, don't don't like people used to always put me down, and he used to always be there. No, Simeon, pick your head up. You don't need to listen to them. Those are hypocrites." So start today and make right life choices that actually make you happy.